Um, so the next thing you're going to do is just lift up your shirt here mm -hmm. and slip it to green. Okay. Um, after this, I'm going to listen to some of your lung sounds. Okay. So every time that I place my stethoscope on your um, anterior, lateral, posterior chest, if you can just breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth okay. for me. Here actually. In through your mouth and out through your mouth. There we go. One more time for me. I'm going to move to your, the side here. Okay, and then move to your posterior. You can't hold my shoulder. Perfect. We're going to start by inspecting the thorax and the lungs. I'm going to have you breathe in and out just normally. Deep breath in, deep breath out. While she's breathing in and out, you want to inspect the rate, the rhythm, and the efforts as of her breaths. Um, her breaths. So when she's breathing in and out, you're inspecting both the anterior and the posterior part of her, her chest. You want to make sure that everything is symmetrical. She's not using more effort in one side than another. And that's, she's doing good, so we're good on that part. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just turn her slightly um, towards the back. I'm going to go ahead and percuss her two lungs to just make sure that there's no abnormalities. So by percussion, you put one hand and then over that you use two fingers. And I'm just gonna percuss over on both sides, breathe in and out. And then you're breathing in and out, in and out. And again, you're just feeling for any abnormalities and you're making sure that both sides are, keep breathing in and out when you're doing it. You're just making sure that on both sides, she's being uh, symmetrical. And she's breathing evenly with, both, with effort on um, both sides being the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and have you turn forward, and I'm going to go ahead and auscultate her breath sounds, and when I'm doing that, I'm listening for abnormalities such as crackles, wheezes, those type of things, so I'm going to go ahead and use the diaphragm of my stethoscope, and I'm going to start at the apex, and so uh, at the apex is going to be right above. And I'm just listening for the, the thump, 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 thump type. And I'm going to go on both sides. And then I'm going to work my way down to the sternum. The second intercostal in, I'm going to go ahead and listen. And I'm going to listen again. And then after the second intercostal, you work your way down to the fourth intercostal. And that's going to be, I'm going to... Keep breathing in and out, the other side, fourth in your costal, and then I'm going to go ahead and get to, uh, I'm gonna have to do, uh, keep breathing in and out. And then the, the last parts that you're going to go ahead and auscultate for are going to be right underneath the auxiliary, but like a little bit to the side. So right here. And then I'm going to do the both sides. And I'm going to go ahead and proceed to turn her towards her back again. And on this side, I'm going to do the same thing, but when I'm auscultating on her back, 
because her scapulas are here, I want to make sure that when I'm auscultating, I'm auscultating away from them, not above them. Like not on top of them, I'm sorry. So again, we start up here, breathe in and out. In and out. And then right above here. I'm gonna go ahead and get your call swing if you have any tightness when you breathe, any any lung pain or anything? I have no chest pain or tightness when I breathe. Mm -hmm. Breathe in for me. Take a deep breath every time I lift my stethoscope. Some of them. Deep breath. All right. Everything sounded great. I'm gonna go to the back and repeat the same thing. Don't mind crossing your arms on your low forward for me. I'm gonna check your spine. All right. Keep going up for me. Shrug your shoulders up and lift your arms out for me. All right, you can let out. Take a deep breath. Okay, good. All right, every time I lift my stethoscope, just take a deep breath for me. Everything sounded good. So I'm going to start by doing a uh, lung and chest exam. So I'm going to start by listening to your lungs. I'm going to start with your back. Do you mind if I undo your gown? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, so nice of you. Alrighty. So each time I move my stethoscope, just take a deep breath in, okay?
Good, your lungs sound nice and clear. Next time I'm gonna have you just drape your chest. I'm gonna listen in the front. You can put your shoulders back. Same thing, each time I place my stethoscope, I'm just gonna have you take a deep breath, okay? Alright, next I'm going to just have you like kind of roll up your sports bra and yep, just hold it like that. Perfect. Two more. Awesome. Everything sounds great. Alrighty. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and slip your gown back on. And now I'm going to do your anterior back. Um, I'm at post here, your back, um, chest. We're going to inspect. There's no lesions, masses, or rashes noted. Any tenderness? No. No tenderness noted. Any tenderness? No. Okay. All right. Um, skin target is non-tinting. So now I'm going to do tactile primitive tissues. Just say 99. Okay, it is equally felt on both sides. Going to percuss. Okay, and it is all resonance. Now I'm going to listen to you. So we're going to do breath sounds first. going to move around to your post you into your chest. Alright, so now I'm going to inspect your chest. Your skin is pink, warm, dry, and intact. Um, there's no heaves or lifts noted. Um, there's no rashes, lesions, masses noted to your chest. Skin turgor is non tending Now I'm going to palpate your chest. Against resonance in all areas. I'm going to auscultate your lung sounds. First, I am going to palpate your chest wall. So I'm going to be looking for any tenderness, 
lesions, bumps, or masses. So uh, let me know if you feel any pain or if it's tender at all. Okay. Everything's okay so far? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm going to percuss your chest, so um, I'm going to be listening for the amount of air that's in your lungs. So we're just going to move through the same story like I did before. Let me know if there's any pain. Okay, next I am going to oscillate your lungs. So every time that my stethoscope touches you, I need you to take a deep breath. If you get lightheaded or feel weak, let me know and we'll take a break. Everything sounds good, symmetric, clear, I don't hear any problems. Um, so now I'm going to be doing the same assessment to your front as I did, or the same assessment to your front, to the back. So okay. can you turn to the side mm -hmm. real quick? All right, so first we're going to palpate, same way. If you have any tenderness or pain, just let me know. Everything okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty good? Yep. All right. Now I'm going to listen to your lungs from the back. Um, so same thing as before. Just take a deep breath. Every time my stethoscope touches you, let me know if you feel weak and we will take a break. Okay. Okay, dear, everything sounds good. I'm just gonna make a report of all this and I will come back to check on you soon. Okay, thank, thank you. you.